So we're looking at the Boss Katana Mini, and I wanna give you six steps to a great crunch tone. If you have this amp, in a matter of minutes, you're gonna be up and running, you're gonna have a good crunch tone to use. And if you don't have this amp, maybe after hearing what it can do and seeing how easy it is to set up, maybe you'll wanna buy this amp. Hey, I'm Derek at 5 Minute Music and I have years of experience playing the electric guitar, helping students learn how to play and use their amps. Uh, doing some live sound and recording work, so I'm excited to help you get started. Now remember, as I go through these settings, they're all dependent on what kind of guitar you're gonna use. I'll be using an Ibanez RG550, and I'll be on the bridge pickup, which is a humbucker. So as we go through, I'm gonna comment about that because your guitar might be different, and you might have to change your settings a little bit, but let's get started. The first thing I want you to do is to set it to crunch. You'll see this little switch here, bottom is clean, Crunch is in the middle. Go ahead and set it in the middle. If you flip the switch all the way up, that's gonna put it on the brown sound. That's the highest gain. You want it in the middle. That's your crunch. Step number two, I want you to set the gain. Go ahead and reach over and set it on six. Now you'll notice there's no numbers. It's just one hash mark all the way to the other. Six, or what I'm calling six, is just past the halfway point. Again, it looks like this. Now I want you to set your volume. Again, volume will be dependent on your room and your setting and on the guitar you're using. So if you have people in the next room, you can go lower. I'm gonna set mine to 10. 10 looks just like this. By the way, if you like this step-by-step -step approach to dialing in a tone, I did one for this amp on how to use the delay. It'll be worth your time. Just go down in the description section below where it says sign up for my newsletter, click there, it's free. And when you do, you're gonna get a link to this video for this amp, but lots of others too the Fender Champion 20, the Orange Crush 12, the Vox Pathfinder 10. So you're gonna find lots of good content in my newsletter for free to you. I won't spam you. Go check that out and sign up. Now, let's keep going. Now, we're gonna move to the EQ section. Step number four, I want you to set the bass. The bass is gonna be all the way up on 10 and it looks like this. All right, we're already on step number five. We're almost done. Take your mids and set them on six. That's a little bit past halfway. It looks like this. There it is right there. By the way, if you like how quick this is going and how fast you're getting stuff dialed in, please give me a like and share this with other guitar players that you know. Now, let's do the last step, here we go. Step number six, set the treble to six. It looks like this. All right, now, quick review. Your gain is on six, you're gonna set it on crunch, your volume's on 10, your bass is on 10, your mids are on six, and your treble is on six. So now, the moment of truth, let's demo this. Two quick notes. I'm recording with a Shure SM57 right off of the speaker. I do this because I want you to capture kind of a full sound of the amp. When I play my amps, I don't like playing them down on the floor away from me. I like to have them up on a desk pointed towards me because when they're down and away from you, you're gonna hear more of the lows and not the highs. But when you have the amp facing you and closer to you, you're gonna get a full better picture of the tone. And also, remember, I'm using a humbucker pickup on the bridge, so that's gonna be brighter, more powerful. If you're not using a humbucker and you're not using your bridge, you might have to change these settings some. So all the settings I gave you are dependent on the guitar that you're using. Just important, I wanted to go over that. All right, moment of truth, here we go. Now, let me give you some power chords. <laughs> Fun, I like that crunch tone. It's such a small amp, but it delivers a good tone for a practice amp. So if you don't have this amp and you wanna get it, down in the description section below where it says buy now, I am an Amazon affiliate and absolutely no extra charge to you if you order it there, I get a small commission. It's just one way I support this channel and I would greatly appreciate it. But maybe you have questions. If you have more questions about this amp, drop down to the comment section. I have a place where it says question of the day. Let me know, what else would you like to know about this amp? Or maybe you would like to know how this amp stacks up to another amp in its price range. I also have more videos about this amp. I recently did a broader review where I talk about all the features of this amp. If you wanna see that, click right there. And as always, click right there to subscribe and hit the bell, because when you hit the bell, you get notifications whenever I do new reviews like this. As always, thank you for your time. God bless, I really appreciate you. Have a great day, bye.